pretty much exhausted almost all of our groceries. Tomorrow we're gonna go grocery shopping because I'm pretty much using the last of what we have to make some food. And I decided that I wanted to make a soup because we were gonna just make pasta and literally just add some tomato sauce. But I have one potato. Also, babe, we only have one potato, which. So we should put it in the soup. We have a sweet potato. We have some pasta that Med already boiled. Um, <laughs> and literally as it was boiling, I was like, wait, let's make a soup. So we stopped it. Um, we had like barely a little bit left of an onion. So I just cut that up. And then I added some garlic. And I added some minced ginger. So what we're gonna do first is literally saute that. And then I'm thinking what I'll add. Oh, actually I have a not chicken. It's gonna kind of be like my rendition of a veggie noodle soup, but better. Actually, it's kind of gonna be a lot different, but we're gonna add a not chicken bouillon cube. We're gonna add some tomato basil pasta sauce to give it more of a tomato -y base, but I also have black beans. So, one potato, a sweet potato, black beans, pasta, a bouillon cube, tomato sauce. We have some leftover kale. Oh, I'm not sure if this is still good. It smells okay. Damn, I kind of wanted to use this kale, but I don't know anymore. I'll be back when I figure this out. Okay, so I cut up the potato, the one little rusted potato, and my big sweet potato. These were actually kidney beans, not black beans. So we have the kidney beans in here, and then I added two not chicken bouillon cubes. And the way for that to come to a boil, I'll cut with some spices, some garlic powder, some salt, and <laughs> my little bit of pepper. Oh my gosh, we're running out of all the like basics. But tomorrow we're going shopping. Want it to be a little spice. Mm -hmm. I do a little cumin, onion powder, of course, smoked paprika. Honestly, I kind of just throw everything that's in here. So I might put it in a bay leaf. Some fine nutritional yeast. So we get our vitamin B12. I might even add a little curry powder to be honest. We don't play when it comes to the seasonings. But once this comes to a boil, I'm gonna add the pasta sauce. But first I'm gonna add these seasonings. So as y'all can see, we are at a boil now. I've added all of my seasonings. Now I'm just gonna add the rest of this tomato basil sauce. Careful not to splatter yourself. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna take a gander with this kale. I took out the pieces that were a little suspicious. I wouldn't eat this probably just by itself, but cooked into the soup would be good. And it gives us color. We're gonna add the pasta last since that's already cooked. Bubbling large guys. I have officially added our cooked pasta. And wow, she's beautiful. The potatoes are nice and soft. All I did was add a little more salt to bring out the flavor. And honestly, the soup is really, really yummy. She looks pretty too. So I hope this can give an idea of how you can literally take random shit in your kitchen, especially if it's stuff that's like, you started to open it for something else, but you didn't use it all. Like literally almost all of these things were like leftovers. Like this was literally like half a box of pasta, half a jar of tomato sauce. Cause the first halves I used for just tomato sauce and pasta. Leftover kale. Granted, I did use one really large can of kidney beans. We had one sweet potato and one rusted potato. 
literally leftover onion, leftover garlic, and some ginger paste and seasonings. Voila. Now for the cute part. The funny thing is, is that it actually really tastes like chicken noodle soup because of the vegan chicken bouillon too. But obviously I didn't have any like classic chicken noodle soup vegetables like carrots and celery. But the sweet potato is kind of like carrot. And it just has a nice thickness to it. Mmm, I love soup. Literally. So comforting. Just enjoying the sunset now. As going down. Got a little extra protein for the food. This soup is so good. What the heck? <laughs> 